Hello there, this is Dimitris Christou and I'm back with another Blender video tutorial. For this video tutorial, we're going to see how we can build easy transition between images using Blender and without using the video editor. We have the default scene open and the default cube selected. I'm going to press delete and hit delete to delete the default cube. And you're going to see that it's pretty easy to set the map. Now for this video tutorial, we're going to use an add-on. And this add-on can be found in the Import Export option. And you can see it right here is the Import Images as Planes. Check this one and you're good to go. I'm going to move to File and Import and Images as Planes. Let's find the first image. Image underscore 1. Import Images as Planes. I'm going to switch the viewport shading from solid to texture so we can see our images. OK. Once more, file import images as planes. And let's import the second image. Import images as planes. And one more, import images as planes. And let's import the image underscore 3. OK. I'm going to hit 1 and 5 on my mail keypad for the front ortho view. I'll zoom in and hit Z and Z to grab and move the third image on the Z axis. Let's move it a bit more down Z, Z. OK. Z, Z, I'm selecting the second image and let's move this one on the Z axis as well. So what we're having now is the image 1 is on top. The image 2 is in the middle and the image underscore 3 is at the bottom. I'm hitting 7 on my main keypad for the top of the view and Del to frame the selected object and I'll hit Ctrl Alt and 0 to position the camera at the place I look. I'm going to right click this frame to select the camera, move over to the camera transform options and I'm going to set the Z value to 1.9. I want to be closer to my images. So now let's see how we're going to work with this one. First thing I'll do is select, let's select the top two images and I'm going to hit H to hide them. Okay. I'll move over to the render options. We have the frame rate of 25 frames per second. Let's see what we'll do. I'm going to select this image and move over to the object modifiers. I'm going to add a subdivision surface modifier and as you might already know the subdivision surface modifier applies some smoothing and adds faces to the object. I'm going to increase the subdivisions for view and render up to 3. But what I do not want is to have the object here smooth. So I'm going to check simple so that the object keeps its original form and just uses more faces and more vertices and all that. Now for this one, what I'll also do is click Add Modifier and I'll add a Build Modifier. Now the Build Modifier builds our object. It starts at frame 1 and uses 100 frames to build the entire object. I'm going to set the length to 25. Let's take a look. I'm hitting Play and you can see our image here forming in 25 frames in one second. What I'll do is check randomize to randomize the build effect. And you can see how it looks now. All right. We're good on the first image. I'm going to hit Alt and H to reveal the two images. And I'm going to hide the top one so I can work with the middle one. Select it once more, click Add Modifier. And I'm going to add a subdivision surface, set the view and render to 3. And you can also use a bigger amount of subdivision. Let's set it to 4. OK, it's like simple so that we're not smoothing our object. And add modifier and build modifier. OK, and randomize again. And now in order to have uh, the effect, the uh, randomize working differently on our 
uh, object here, we can change the seed stage from 1 to 2. Of course, we have a we will use the start, let's say the start to 50 and the length again to 25. So now the build modifier starts at the frame 50 at the second second and takes one second to build the image. Okay. Now Alt and Age to reveal the top image. Select this one. Okay. Let's add the subdivision surface modifier for this one as well. I'm going to set this one to 2. Let's keep it at 2. And simple so that the subdivision modifier doesn't smooth our object, doesn't make it smooth and distorts it. And I'm going to add a middle modifier for this one as well. Let's add it. And I want to start at frame, let's say 100. And again, set the length to 25. Randomize and let's set the seed. Let's set the seed for this one from 1 to 3. I'm hitting 0 on my very keypad to switch to thermal perspective view. I'm going to move back to frame 1. And what I'll also do is let's set the horizon color to black. And let's also select images. Let's see the materials. I want to bring the specular intensity down for all of them. And you can also click shadeless. Okay, and selecting the bottom one. Okay, specular intensity down and shadeless. I'll hit zero for the camera perspective view. Let's set the end frame to 150. Okay, and let's see how it looks. First image, second image, and then third image. Okay, looking pretty good. So this is it, this is a pretty easy way to build image transitions in Blender without using the video editor. Hope you like it, this is Dimitris Christou and thanks for watching.